welcome back to my channel it's your girl Crystal and I am back with another video in today's video I really wanted to do a get ready with me but I figured it would be better if I just kind of show you guys the makeup and do a voiceover on top so that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video before we get into anything you already know the deal go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell which will give you an alert every time I post a video so if you want to see how I went about doing this makeup look today, then keep watching. Okay guys, so right now I am brushing my eyebrows and I am using the NYX eyebrow gel. I'm not sure, I don't remember the name. Uh, but I really do love this eyebrow gel because it actually like stays put and it's not too dark and the consistency is really good uh, Not so much of like a gel and not so much like pencil uh, if you understand what I mean um, So I've been using this for, for a few now um, and it's super affordable I love it so much more because of that um, but yeah, uh, if I have to pick anything to do my eyebrows, this is what it will be. Uh, so I am just shaping it right now. For the most part, my eyebrows, I feel like they never come out the exact same way. But whatever, they're brows, right? They're not meant to be like identical. So I just kind of like, however they come out, that's how I just let them be. Uh, so I am just finishing this up. It really takes a little while actually to do my eyebrows. I never really noticed that it takes this long. Um, and especially when my uh, my brows are not done, it takes even longer to get them together. Uh, so I'm filling in right now. Right now I'm using the Booing uh, Concealer uh, to shape them up. I got this concealer, I believe from Influencer. They sent me this to try out. I fell in love with it. It is so so good. Um, I use it all the time. Like I, I practically will use this over anything. It kind of has that consistency that just the way it dries down is just amazing. Uh, so I'm putting some more of that on my on my eyelids because I'm going to you know get into the makeup using my beauty blender right now to just blend that out. I just kind of tried this out for the first time and putting like Laura Mercier on the side of my eyes. Right now I'm getting into the Lemonade Craze palette. Uh, I'm going for a pretty super simple look, nothing crazy uh, today, just a little hint of color. Uh, so I'm going with that first shade which is more of like a neutral shade. Um, and I'm using that just to kind of neutralize the whole eyelid before anything. And now I am going in with the pink. Actually, before this, I used another shade, which was like a darker brown. Um, and now I'm going in with just that hint of color just to seal the eye together. Uh, had no idea what I was going to do when I decided to make this video, but I love how the pink and the brown just complements each other. Uh, it gives it a little bit of color, but at the same time, it's like super neutral, so it's not like too out there. And this is something I would definitely use like on every day. Using my e.l.f. eyeliner, which is greatest of all time. I think it's like $3 um, uh, at e.l.f. Uh, and it stays on, it doesn't move. Uh, Great Lash from Maybelline is my all-to favorite also. There's no other mascara that makes my eyelashes pop even without falsies. So if you haven't tried this mascara, Butterfly Wing, you have to try it. It's super, super amazing. Um, I've never had any complaints. And since I found this mascara, I have not gone back to anyone. I can't even tell you which one I used for this. And 
and of course my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, my favorite foundation of all time. Uh, I'm so happy I finally found a drugstore foundation that works and matches my complexion. I feel like out of my entire makeup routine, my foundation basically gives me the most stress because I don't like mixing my foundations. And I think this is the first foundation that I've ever gotten that I did not need to mix, that it matches me perfectly. As you can see, as I'm putting it on, it literally blends in. Like, you can't even tell where it starts or where it finishes. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, if you haven't tried it, you should. I stock up, stock up on these, like, constantly, like, two bottles at a time. So right now, I am just you know blending that all over my face so we could get you know our canvas all solidified canvas <laughs> really like doing makeup is kind of like being a canvas and I'm back to Buin concealer again I'm gonna use that to conceal my under eye uh, usually I do a previous step where I use uh, it's like a corrector but uh, I'm realizing that this concealer is so amazing that I don't need a corrector uh, and you'll see as the video goes on that you know, these little dark circles that I have they really do get minimized a, a whole lot just by using this concealer so I'm just blending that all out right now getting it nice and matte and I'm using my beauty blender to do that Laura Mercier, remember when I first started using this, amazing. I used to be worried about it giving flashback, but trust me, yes, if you don't use a lot, you're all good. And this is the uh, Black Radiance, it's a foundation stick. I don't know which color, uh, but it is amazing. I remember I was really just trying this out when I found it in the drugstore. Because uh, I wanted, you know, something that matched my complexion where it wasn't too dark. And I've been using this ever since. Uh, this is this is the eyelashes that I'm about to put on and the eyelash glue. Uh, I started using this eyelash glue a little while back. Um, actually, no, recently. Um, but I'm just showing you guys what I do when I do my lashes. You guys know what I used. And I'm just buffing out the contour at this point using my beauty blender to do that gotta contour this face girl yes my favorite part of this entire process is getting rid of my double chin <laughs> wet and wild this is the blush that i've been using like practically every day whenever i do makeup it's so amazing it goes with my complexion so well i love it True Complexion Contour Palette. Of course, you know if you use a cream, you need to go on top of the powder. So this is what I am doing right now. This is a very crucial step because you need to uh, solidify the cream and you need to make sure that it stays put. So this is how you do that. Taking off the translucent powder from under the contour. Going in with that same brush with the powder just to set everything. Now I'm putting on my highlight. This highlight is from the same True Perfection palette. minimizing this contour a little bit you don't want it to be too crazy now I'm putting highlight on my nose and my cupid's bow these are the lashes I'm putting on right now with the glue that I showed you guys earlier urban decay oh can't see I can't say enough about this. I love this spray. Like, if you don't have it, you need it. <sighs> this 
this is the final look yes girl do you dance now maybe we should do lips okay so let's do lips look at this guy oh, can't get away from my camera for one second without, without him getting into something hi baby All right, Wet n Wild, we're using the lip liner and the lipstick is also from Wet n Wild. Your girl never used to be a fan of lipstick, period. Like, I would be okay with just doing my makeup and put it on some lip gloss. But I've been getting so into the lipstick and truth be told, I think it's all about the right shade and the right liner. Once you find the shades that go with your face, it's like no turning back. So. I really, really love the combo of this lip liner and this lipstick together. There you go, girl. Mm -hmm. That's the final look, guys.